morning guys it's a little rainy as you can see and a lot darker than usual so i'm getting all wet so anyway on good now there's like a lot of people do like things for moral good they say oh well it's good and all that sort of stuff but then i also sit back and wonder are they really doing it for the moral good or they're doing it for the good of oneself like their own edification to make themselves feel good because they champion a cause that they feel is morally good therefore they're kind of you know the whole term virtue signaling so i'm good because i do this i think really the whole good bad thing it, yeah it is also very contextual and subjective but for a lot of people that run around and do a lot of good and then they sort of bray about it and all sorts of other stuff I, I do really wonder about their intentions um, their wholeheartedness and that there are people out there that do do that um, I don't disagree with that but when it gets to the point where people completely discount others um, I don't know other people's work rights opinions I've got to wonder about that whole moral good thing and morality is stuff that you are growing up with it's cultural and a lot of things that come into it but realistically there's quite a few and I mean you know everybody's a bit of a hypocrite so I can't really say that they're, they're hypocrites and go oh my god they're hypocrites I go well no everyone everyone does and has done it at some time and we'll do it in the future the point is doing something that's morally good as opposed to being good for oneself when you look down at it um the whole pride thing not pride as in you know gay pride and stuff, but the whole pride before a fall thing is the hardest thing to really get over um because pretty much a lot of things you do for your own moral not moral but your own feeling of good um there's nothing you can do that won't make you feel good that's helping somebody else as well so when you think of it that way how can you do something that's completely selfless <laughs> not gonna happen because the fact that you're a person means you can't really do anything that's completely selfless even when you think that you are doing something that's selfless it's still a benefit for you because you're actually doing it, it makes you feel good to do something that's supposedly entirely selfless um, but yeah um, when you think about it that way so when you think can you do anything actually good I said, well yeah you can do things that are good um ironically some things that you do that are good for you are actually good for a whole lot of other people and are morally good as well it's not very clear cut but it is an interesting thing to think about is that you know what what do you call morally good uh, what do you call good for yourself do those things align are the things that you've done that you think that are completely selfish but are actually good for others around you um example i've taken steps to like say look no that's that's just too much stuff or said look these are my boundaries and all people think oh well you need being selfish and all sorts of other stuff saying actually no i am well yeah, selfish in a way uh, but I'm being good to myself, which is also good for others. And how can that be if I'm not helping somebody? Well, sometimes you, when you're helping somebody, you're really just enabling them. And you're actually being good to them by being mean. By saying, look, you know, you've dug this hole. I've tried to help you as best as I can. You won't listen to me. So go ahead, make your own mistakes, learn from it. Um, I'll be over here. <laughs> it's like, it, it sounds really, really mean, um, but when you look at it, not just from a self point of view, but from their point of view, well, not from their point of view, but from the whole moral standpoint, is that, you know, the whole teaching people how to fish other than giving them a meal, um, that's a pretty vital thing. And it allows them to take on responsibility for themselves and their own actions. Not a lot of people do that these days. Well, they do to a certain extent, but they do it to the point of, oh, I should have been harder, I should have done this, I should have done that. Well, if you had known that stuff was going to happen, why didn't you take steps to at least mitigate what was going to happen? Or did you just sort of sit there and let it happen just so you could go, see, I told you so, see, I told you so. 
<laughs> that's not really that helpful. Anyway, it is still raining, so I'm going to drop this and put up my umbrella. And I don't think what I'm going to do with my mushrooms. I started growing mushrooms, and now they're a bit sad. So I have to think about what I'm going to do with them. Awesome, growing my own mushrooms. <laughs> if you can get to do it, it's really cool. Particularly when you like come back and you go, oh my god, they've just exploded out of their box or out of their container, and you know, it looks like some weird Cthulhu-esque type creature. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.